Now we want to look at the foundational habit, habit one, to be proactive. Why foundational? Because all of the other habits flow out of it. If habit one is present, you can cultivate the other six. If it is not present, you will not cultivate the other six. Habit one, be proactive, basically means that your life is a product of your values, not your feelings. That your life or the organization's life is a product of your decisions, not your conditions. The opposite of being proactive is to be reactive, which basically means that your life is a function of your feelings, your moods, your impulses, other people's treatment. The underlying principle of habit one, be proactive, is to take responsibility. The concept is you and I have the capacity to choose our response. If you don't believe that you're capable of choosing your own response. If you don't have that vision of yourself, if you're deep into victimism, I'll just about guarantee you, you will become disempowered. You will not begin with the end in mind, with careful thinking about the future. You'll be a function of the past. You will put second, third, fourth, and fifth things first, with your ladder leaning against the wrong wall. You'll think win-lose or lose-win. You'll always seek to be understood first rather than to understand. And you'll be constantly botching all kinds of relationships because both parties feel misunderstood. Ego battles will develop. At best, you'll end up with compromise instead of synergy. And you will not take the time to sharpen the saw because you simply don't have the time to get gas. You're too busy. You're buried in the thick of thin things. That's why habit one is so foundational, so